Hello, my dear students. So, today I am starting the second chapter. Very, very important chapter. After going to the introduction part of chapter 1 regarding the new topics that you are having business talk, business studies. Now, we are going to start the second chapter. So, let us see that what are the forms of business organizations. Okay. So, you have learned about the business, about its types what business is but what are the types of the business organizations about a brief discussion about the same topics we should cover in these lectures so i will name it as lecture number one of second chapter okay so this is lecture number one of second chapter see here I have written sole proprietorship. As you can see here, it's sole proprietorship. So what is sole proprietorship? Basically, the business organization, the types of the business organization has been divided into some categories. So the first, we will study like this. We will study a category, particular category. Okay. Then we will move towards its features, its merits, its demerits. And for all the types of the business organizations, we will do the same. Now here, in case of sole proprietorship business, this is one of the type of business organization that you can have. Right? See here, the characteristics. At first, let us see the characteristics. What is it? It is about. Here it is written that it is single ownership. No sharing of profit and loss with other person. One man will invest the capital. Unlimited liability. As you can read about the accountancy paper, there you can see about the liability, what is known as the liability that you have to pay, okay, that outsiders will get from you. That is the liability. So here it is unlimited liability, less legal formalities, that is legally no need to maintain so many things, so many forms, so less legal formalities are there. Only one man will control the business. That is one man control. So this is the basic just starting. As you can see by seeing these points, you may have an idea regarding what sole proprietorship business is. As you will go out students, you will see in the market there are shops, retail shops. Just for example, where from where you will take the books, papers and all. The stationery shop is there. Okay. So, some, there are some dealers, there are some shops in which the owner is the shopkeeper himself. He has no partnership with other, only if, suppose for example, just take the example. Just take the example, my dear students. When you are seeing a shop, that means nearby your place in the market, there is a shop, stationary shop. The person who is the owner of the stationary shop is the shopkeeper. Whatever profit he will earn from the customers, all the profits. Will he share with anyone else? No, he will not share with anyone else. First question. Second question with you. Whatever be the liability of the shopkeeper, do anyone will come to the shopkeeper for just helping him out? Will anyone pay on behalf of him? Anyone will take the guarantee? No. So whatever liability he will be having, he has to pay on his own. So can we say that he has unlimited liability? There is no limitation that this much amount only he needs to pay. Whatever be the amounts, he has to pay on his own. Right. So who control the shop? Here will be the... Just take the example. Who will control the shop? Here will be the pains. 
here will be pencils and this way the dealing will go on i will open the shop morning at 8 and keep it open up to 1 30 pm again at evening i will open at 4 pm and it will be open till 10 pm so these decisions who takes students the control he used to take by himself so that's why the sole proprietorship about the soul means alone sole proprietorship business i can tell here that it is such kind of business where there are no person except him who will share the profits of the business who will bear the liability of the business who will control the management of the business so he will be the only person for that so that's why it is called as sole proprietorship now see here meaning of sole proprietorship just write it down students whatever slides i am showing here just write it down on your copy right meaning of sole proprietorship sole means single okay sole means single and proprietorship means ownership it is clear to us it means only one person or an individual is the owner of the business is that clear or not soul means what a single person and proprietorship means what means ownership he is having the ownership it means there are only one person or an individual who is the owner of the business right Thus, the business organization in which a single person owns, manages and controls all the activities of the business is known as sole proprietorship form of business organization. Can we tell that? Yes, we can tell that. The individual who owns and runs the sole proprietorship business is called a sole proprietor or sole trader. Those individual who used to own and run the sole proprietorship business by himself only is known as a sole proprietor or is known as a sole trader. What are the features of sole proprietorship? Just take the points now. Next, we will go for the brief discussion about the same. Here, the formation and closer liability. How will be the liability? These are the points that you have to remember. See, students, at first, you will remember the points. Then only you can able to write on your own. You have to practice the English writing by, you, by your own only. Because it is very much important. Yes, you will copy whatever I will write. But then also you will try to write by your own. It is very much important not only for your class 11 and 12. I am telling it for your future purpose as well. So, uh, as soon as possible start writing on your own. Practice by your own okay so just first take the points we will talk about formation and closure of sole proprietorship business about his liability sole risk bearer and profit recipient as i have told that he is the only risk bearer all the risks suppose a fire an accident has been caused for that due to the fire the all the items there are loss of fifty thousand rupees what will happen it is a risk now it may happen you cannot say about the natural calamities when it will come or when it will not so that may happen he has to bear the risk on his own no one will come to help him no separate entity is there controlled by his own lack of business continuity if he dies or if he becomes insane or any physical disability or anything else then who will continue his business so the business will be continued as long as the person is alive okay next we will see the details about its features just see it formation and closure there is no separate law that governs sole property just write it down each and every point you will write it down students there is no separate law that governs sole proprietorship. Hardly any legal formalities are required to start a sole proprietary business. Though in some cases one may require a license. Okay. So in some cases there may be a requirement of a license. But other than that, no other formalities to be done. Closure of the business can also be done very easily. Okay. So formation and closure at this point is 
now clear to you now about the liability since there is no separation between the owner and the business the personal liability of the owner is also unlimited as because you know students when you are opening the shop when you are opening the shop okay you are there the sole proprietor and the shop is there each and every control of the business responsibilities ownership risk everything the single person is bearing my dear students so can you tell that this person and his shop mr x and the shop is not different from each other so if they are not different from each other so the liability as the owner and the business are not separate the personal liability of the owner is also unlimited is that clear or not the personal liability will also be unlimited so if the business is unable to meet its own debts or liabilities it will fall upon the proprietor to pay them so it will be the duty of the proprietor to pay them okay for instance he may also have to sell all of his personal assets it may happen that he has to sell all his personal assets like his car house and other property is also why so that they can be able to meet the debts or liabilities of the business whatever be the liabilities of the business whatever be the debts of the business to meet that even he has to sell his personal assets as well but he has to bear the liability on his own correct next sole risk bearer and profit recipient so he is the only risk bearer we have discussed earlier as well the business owner is the only risk bearer in a sole proprietorship since he is the only one financially invested in the company he has invested the capital in the company by his own only no other person has come to invest in his business is that clear or not so as a result he must also bear all the risk na he, he has to bear all the risk in other words if the business fails or suffers losses he will be the one who will be the affected because if the business is suffering from loss he will be the one who should be affected right no one will become affected no separate entity because the business as we have learned that the owner and the business are the same no separation between them so can we say in legal terms the business and the owner are one legally also they are the one and the same no separate legal identity will be bestowed upon the sole proprietorship so there are no separate legal entity between the entity and the person who is managing the entity so the owner will be the responsible for all the activities and transaction of the business whatever transactions will happen in the business my dear students the owner should be responsible for that he cannot show his finger to someone else that mr y you are responsible for my business he is the only person who will be responsible now about the control the right to run the business and make all the decision lies absolutely with the sole proprietor so he has to carry out his plans without any interference from others lack of business continuity the death bankruptcy insanity imprisonment means jail will have an effect on the sole proprietorship in such situation the proprietorship will cease to exist and the business will come to an end so only he is the person who is responsible for the same for the business so i think i have cleared the features of sole proprietorship business this is lecture number 1 forms of business organization next we will go for the lecture number 2